got a really busy year this year. There's a lot happening. How are you handling it all? Yeah, very, very busy. Um, I, I, fin- I finished school last year, went to Brighton Grammar, which is, um, yeah, love my time there. And now I'm doing uni at Deakin University. So, yeah, the, the footy stuff's obviously a uh, big part of the year. And then I've uh, got a few side piece things to, to keep me occupied during the week. Did you bother playing markers up in the schoolyard at, at <laughs> Bright Grammar or was it almost just like you almost felt like you were bullying the other kids who were just marking everything that came your way? No, I'm, I'm, there's probably some bigger guys at the school than I am, so that probably bet, pushed me around a little bit in the aerial stuff. But um, I no. struggle to believe that. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. so you finished school last year. How, how, how how's that come about? Yeah, so I, I started my schooling – um, and I was living on the Gold Coast, so Dad was working for the, for the Gold Coast Suns and um, lived there for pretty much most of my life up until year nine. Uh, and then, yeah, moved down to, to Melbourne um, for year 10. So, yeah, um, yeah, I think I started, I think you meant to start year, when you're five years older. I started when I was four, something like that. So, yeah, just finished year earlier, which is a good result. That's come in really handy, especially considering your year is going to be jam-packed with the draft and a lot of the footy stuff. Um, is that a bit of a relief to get that year 12 out of the way and just focus on your draft year this year? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, looking back, it was definitely um, a good a good decision. Um, wasn't purposeful, but yeah, it worked out well in the end. I think, um, yeah, it gave me a good chance to really focus on my schooling last year, mm, knowing true. that the draft wasn't coming and then now I can sort of flip that and get ready to um, for the for the footy journey ahead and um, sort of put the school stuff to bed a bit. How how'd you enjoy the transition from the Sunshine State coming back to the footy state of Melbourne? Is it yeah. something you really enjoy, or was it maybe a bit difficult to adapt to? There's, a, there's pros and cons to both, that's for sure. I think yeah, the weather's is. definitely are uh, definitely a lot better on the Gold Coast. So I probably missed that a little bit, but um, yeah, as you said, it's a footy state. Love love everything about what Melbourne has to offer footy wise. So yeah, I love it. Were you surfing there. up there? Uh, I wasn't. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Wasn't big into the surfing. We went to we went to Byron Bay a little bit um, and holidayed there. And we still do, and I did a little bit there, but not a whole lot on the Gold Coast, no. Not so, for me either. <laughs> <laughs> so how was uh, your junior footy up there? So obviously Queensland, I think it's starting to really grow as a bit of a football state, but um, it's predominantly rugby league. So how was junior footy up there? Yeah, I loved it. I played um, for a, a few different clubs. I played for Broad Beach Cats early on. Oh, the Catters. <laughs> the Catters. The Cats, yeah. <laughs> Broadie. Um, and then and moved over to Southport Sharks um, when I played when I was a bit older, so... Um, always played up a couple of years there and mm. um, really enjoyed that challenge and you know, I'm really grateful for all the opportunities I had there and um, yeah, for sure. While you were there, did you feel the brand of AFL start to grow a little bit or is it maybe still stagnating and take a bit of time? No, I think it's definitely growing, um, especially with the implementation of the women's stuff over the last few years. I think that's taken off a lot. Um, like I know a lot of different people who probably weren't as interested in footy uh, in Queensland, but now they love it and they're interested in, in the AFL stuff as well. So, yeah, it's definitely growing and, and will continue to grow for sure. Fantastic. Did you make the move down to Victoria to progress your footy? Was that a decision? Yeah, it's definitely part of it. Um, yeah, Dad Dad moved on from the Suns after a fest in there with them and had another role here in the AFL. So that was um, probably the, the leading factor for it. But then, yeah, definitely we were thinking coming to a school like Brighton Grammar and mm. playing hopefully for Victoria. Um which I've been able to do, which is awesome. And um, yeah, we're really grateful for those chances in Melbourne. You are playing for Victoria and you are absolutely taking the P1 55. <laughs> Just uh, having a skim over some of the headlines <laughs> I read uh, during the week. 38 touches, 10 clearances, 10 score involvements. I'm not a basketball man, but that screams triple-double or something yes. like that <laughs> versus South Australia. Um, are you surprised at how well you're travelling or did you always know that you sort of had that within you? I've, I've put in a lot of work over many years to, to get where I am at the moment and I'll continue to do that, but no, nah, it's not, no accident. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll put in the work and have the belief to do it, so I'm just come out and do it each week. How, how are you finding it all? Obviously, this time of year, the media attention sort of turns for the NAB League and whatnot. Yep. Um, you're obviously playing some really, really strong footy, so how are you finding uh, this part of the season? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I think something that's probably helped me stay away from the media stuff a little bit is just looking to help others as well. Like, mm. um being captain of the Dragons and um, leadership in other roles in, in Metro and stuff like that. I think it's important to try and help others along and, and help their progression as well and, and hopefully get them drafted as well. So that's sort of, yeah, shifted the focus away from 
my story a little bit and trying to help others a bit. You have been touted as a bit of a leader. Obviously, with all your on-field stuff, um, skills and uh, fitness and whatnot, that's obvious how you go and work on uh, improving those facets of your game. But in terms of leadership, has... Have you gone to anyone in particular to try and work on that side of your game or gotten advice from anyone in particular? Yeah, so Wayne Cripps, who's coach at Sandy Dragons, I've, he was the Vic Metro coach last year or midfield coach. So he's um, been really good for me on the field but also with my leadership. Um, ben Jacobs, who played at Northam and Port Adelaide, he was midfield coach last year for Brighton Grammar. So I'm in regular contact mm. with him and mm. he's a huge part of what I do um, on and off the field and, and the leadership stuff. So, yeah, they're probably the two main ones that have – I've really helped me along. Uh, your old man played for the Brisbane Lions, 300 games, three premierships. How does his sort of advice and guidance uh, help you in a season like this? Yeah, he's he's been huge right from the get-go, but he's never really pushed. Like I got my brother coming through as well and my sister who are really eager in the footy world as well, but he's never really pushed us to um, do what he wants. He's always just been there as a, as a support option and he's never um, you know it pushed us too hard. So um, I think, yeah, he's been huge not just on the field, but just as playing that, that father figure role as well. It's funny, like I'm sort of 24, so I just missed the Brisbane three-peat. Yep. And when you think about the great players of that team, you're immediately drawn to John O'Brien, Ackermanis, Voss, Black, all these superstars. Mm. A name that doesn't really come up for some people who d didn't watch the era yep. is your old man, Marcus Ashcroft. But here he is, 318 gamer, mm. three flags. Uh, do you remember much of him playing or did you see any of it or nah, does he remind you of how good he was i've definitely watched a fair few videos of him uh i was born in 04 so he retired in 03 just before i was born yeah, it makes so it hard <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> unfortunate yeah but, um, <laughs> uh no nah, i've definitely watched a fair bit of his, his vision and um yeah he was, he was a gun player no doubt about that yeah. can you believe how strong that football club was like you see other teams now and like Richmond they sort of won three in four years and um, obviously the Hawks did the three-peat as well but the way people talk about that Brisbane Lions outfit it's like almost an upper sort of level compared to the teams that we watched today so can you believe how good that football club was? Yeah I think they just brought in so much good talent over so many years that they were just they were just ready to go and yeah um yeah, they were unbelievable. I had so many players across the board. Um, and I think what I've sort of learned speaking to dad and seeing, speaking to other and hearing stuff about the team was just their ability to adopt their role and play, and play their role, no matter how mm. good they thought they were as an individual. And they all just did that across the board from, from the defenders, the mids and the forwards. Um, they just all did that to the best of their ability. And I think that's what helped them along the line for sure. Did you have any of those voices around the house or in your life growing up, whether it be a, a Voss or a Black, giving you advice? Do you remember seeing them in and around your childhood? Yeah, Dad's really good mates with um, Brad Scott in particular. Yep. So he's been a um, huge, huge role model for me. Um, and yeah, we're in, in contact with him a fair bit. So he's he's probably the main one. Nigel Lappin as well, he, was, um, he supports me a lot. Um, he was actually at the game on the weekend sitting with Dad and um, took, took his Sunday off to come watch me play. So yeah, they're just really selfless and... I'm willing to give back, which is awesome. Some of the best heads in the footy industry giving yeah. you support. Um, that must be amazing. We want to ask about, so obviously we're talking about the Brisbane Lions. You've played some VFL footy for them this year. How's that experience been? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, lining up with Mitch Robbo and Reese Matheson. <laughs> <laughs> Beast <Reece> mode. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. They're, they're unbelievable people and players. So um, that was awesome. And yeah, I really enjoyed the two games I played.